This was a big weekend, a really big weekend for a lot of people all over the world. Because you see, you had Easter, Passover, and Ramadan all at the same time. Yeah, it was basically the Coachella of religion. <laughs> And if you celebrate Easter, you probably know that it marks the end of Lent, a 40-day period when many Christians give up a personal pleasure or a luxury as a form of spiritual devotion. And typically, people who observe Lent, like they give up something like sweets or alcohol. Uh, but this year, one church came up with a much more innovative <laughs> form of sacrifice. The church in Illinois fasting from whiteness to observe Lent. Lent, of course, a Christian tradition that involves giving up something for 40 days ahead of Easter. And First United Church of Oak Park chose to give up white music, meaning they aren't playing any music written by white people. The church released a statement saying that the goal was to lay aside usual frames of reference and open the floor to voices of black people, indigenous people, and people of color. This has been a season of the best best church that I can remember. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you can see he's like the best ever. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, Reverend. Of course, this was the best season. You guys were rocking out to black music this whole time. Of course, it was. Yo, what seems like a more fun church service? This? <laughs> You know, they say they're doing this for Lent, but you realize now that they've discovered this, they don't have to go back to boring songs, right? <laughs> no, you don't have to. They said it was the best. The Reverend said this is the best service they could remember. So why change it? Make all your music black music. Yeah, I mean, just be careful, though. Just be careful. Not every black song works in church. <laughs> Gobble me, swallow me, <laughs> trip down the side of me. Wap, 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 wet as pussy. Ha, 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 ha. And while we're talking about church music, there's a video, you probably saw it, that went viral this weekend, right? It's of a youth pastor who's on a flight. And he decided with, like, I guess his band members to surprise everyone on the flight with an impromptu performance. This in-flight video is getting a lot of attention on social media, with commenters wondering if other passengers were okay with the performance. Watch this. A youth pastor shared this video of a group of people singing Christian songs earlier this month, obviously on a plane. Of course, everybody zeroed in on this one dude. Let's yes. just see the picture of <laughs> yeah. the man. Oh, man, that dude was not having a good time. Do you see his face? That's the look of someone thinking, oh, where's Bin Laden when you need him? <laughs> oh, man. And he's not the only one who felt that way. A lot of people online are saying that it is inappropriate for a group to randomly start playing music in the middle of a flight. And some people, some people were even more angry that it was religious music. They're saying, you can't do this. You can't just bring religion for everybody on the plane. But guys, honestly, in my opinion, I think the most logical place for religious songs is on a plane. <laughs> yeah, I don't care who you are. That's where you need God. <laughs> because who the hell knows how to fly planes, huh? knows how planes work. <laughs> There's only like two people on the entire plane who know how that thing works. I mean, really know. Two people. If they get diarrhea at the same time, we're all dead. <laughs> we're gone. Yeah, on the ground, you can believe whatever you want to believe. But in the sky, we're all religious. <laughs> all of us. I don't care who you are. I've seen people check in as atheists. Oh, they got all this swag at the check-in. <laughs> I don't believe in God. Yeah, then in the air, the right turbulence hits. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, Jesus. Oh, please, Jesus, please. <laughs> Jesus, please, I'll never masturbate ever again, please, please. You know who you are. <laughs>